Hello and welcome to your 18th Django tutorial. In today's Django tutorial we are going to go ahead and add some uh, links to our menu bar up here. That way we can easily navigate through our pages um, instead of typing in the URLs up here. Make our life a little bit easier. Uh, also when we do this uh, we're going to make the links active. So if we're on the home page, that would be hi highlighted. If we're on the tutorial series page, that would be hi highlighted. So I'll show you how to do that via Django. So go ahead and open up your um, text editor. Well, let's go ahead and um, close out all these files here. Because we're going to need base.html and I don't like having a lot of files open. And clearly my computer's being slow as crap today. Alright. <clears throat> Go ahead and open up base.html. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and add our links in here into our nav portion. So let's go down and find out oh, exactly where we're going to add it. Uh, nav bar collapse. Uh, right here under nav uh, navbar collapse collapse in your class we're going to go ahead and add our navbar as you can see we have one that pulls to the right and that is our um, our form as of right now to log in I don't know if we're going to keep that or not so we'll just leave it there so let's go ahead and do uh, UL all right and I'm getting all this from bootstrap itself so I'm not doing anything crazy nav 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 bar nav all right so inside UL, uh, we're going to need li, all right, and li and the f class, all right. So this class is going to be active, and then we'll close out the li, and then we're going to put our name of our link, so home, all right. So we'll uh, go ahead and do this real quick. And we'll not give this one a class for now. So we'll call this one, um, I don't know, tutorials. Like that. Well, let's go back and just check to make sure it looks okay. Come on, computer, wake up. Wake up, wake up. Alright, so you can see I have them in here. They're up here. I must have missed something. Is a tags. Well, like I have said before, I'm not a designer. A href, and we'll just put a pound sign for now. A href, pound sign, and three tutorials in there. Go back and refresh. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Anyhow, uh, you see how we got home and we got tutorials, how home is highlighted and uh, when we're active on it. Uh, it thinks we're active on it now because that's what we set the class to. But um, we want to be able to change that. So if right now we're on tutorials, tutorials should be lit up and home should be... Uh, uh, this light gray color. Um, so how do we do something like that in Django? So let's first off, before we even get involved in that, let's go ahead and just set our URLs. Um, that way I don't forget and say, oh, we're done and move on. So first one is our home URL. So we're just going to do curly brace, uh, percent symbol, and then we'll do URL. And then for home, it's home like that. Uh, and then percent symbol. Curly brace. All right. So you may be wondering where I get this. Uh, URL is a URL tag, and then it goes to our first URLs.py file, and our main—I should say, not our first—our main URLs.py file, and that's inside master up here. Okay. So if we open this up, 
let's see we have a name home all right so the name where we put it home that's what is associated with it all right the name and then in here home okay now for our next one we're going to see something slightly different not too different but slightly so with the curly brace uh percent symbol and then we'll do url um our uh quote and then we're going to do tutorials colon tutorial series underscore list close our quotes and then we're going to do curly break our, our percent symbol then curly brace all right so if we say that um now this one's a little different all right so we go to the tutorials um tutorials folder okay here and then it's going to go in there to the urls.py file that's located in there because we used the include i uh, forgot to include that so in our main um urls.py file we have include all right and we call it app name or namespace tutorials all right and then we come down to tutorials and then it goes to our urls.py file and then it looks for tutorial series list view all right so it should be tutorial series list view in our base.html so underscore view all right so that should be our url now if we go in and refresh on our browser and try one of these links out we should now be able to visit home without any problems we should be able to go back to tutorial without any problems there we go all right, that's what we're looking for right there. But like I said before, we want this to look a little cleaner, um, and we want we don't always want home uh, highlighted. We don't want our users to look at it and constantly go to home. Oh, that's highlighted. Maybe I should click on it. All right, so we need to um, highlight tutorials so they know where they are if they don't already do. All right, so how do we do this? Well, we're going to use a um, with tag with w i t h with tag. Um, and with with the with tag, we're going to go ahead and access request dot resolver match dot URL name. So what we're basically doing is we're going to um, access this name, or uh, well, I shouldn't say this name. I should say the URL's name. So um, the name that we set in the URLs right here, we're going to access this. And if it matches that, then we're going to make it active. Okay. So let's do it. Uh, right below the UL tag, let's go ahead and we're going to put in a width uh, template tag. So we're going to do a curly brace, percent symbol, and then we're going to say width. And then we're going to say URL underscore name is equal to, and we're going to say request dot resolver underscore match dot url underscore name and then we're going to close out the width um tag with the percent symbol curly brace and then come down below the last li tag and we're going to close out our width as well with an end width all right so now we have this set up. So now we can access the actual names in our urls.py file. All right. Now we need to set up um, if statements in here, right here in this class, and one down here. So let's go ahead and create this class just so we don't have to do it later. All right. And what we're going to do is I'll just remove this for now just to make it a little bit easier. And now we're going to put an if statement in here. We're going to do if our curly brace percent symbol and then we're gonna say if URL underscore name is equal equal to home then we're gonna do something so let's go ahead and close out that if statement with the curly brace and we're gonna say active all right and then we always need to end with when we're using it or end if, if when we're using it in um, the template tag so let's go ahead and do a uh, curly brace percent symbol and and if uh, percent symbol curly brace all right so there we go um let's go ahead and do the same thing down here but instead of typing it 
Let's be lazy and go up it. All right, so now we have to change this home to tutorial underscore series underscore list underscore view. All right, and that's all we need to do. So now if we go back and refresh, <coughs> now you see this is highlighted for tutorials. We're on the tutorials page and that's highlighted. Now if we go to home, that should be highlighted and tutorial shouldn't be. There you go. That's how you make a link active in Django. In the next tutorial, we're going to go ahead and put in page pagination in our list view here and then we'll pretty much um, clean up the project after or clean up this app after that and move on to something better so i'll see you in the next tutorial